Colorado is known for its majestic beauty, its wide open spaces, and places to play. But Colorado is also known for its dynamic system of 76 public use airports, each providing critical aviation services. We also operate the FBO and all the FBO operations. So we sell the fuel, provide all the pilot services. Specialized jobs. It provides a lot of quality jobs that are better paying for most small communities. And gateways for Colorado's visitors. More people are discovering Telluride and the Colorado mountains and they want to come back. All of which greatly support and contribute to our local and state economies. People fly in through Colorado Springs Airport, then they stay at local hotels. They rent a car, they eat at our restaurants, they go to the shops downtown. So all that has you know, tremendous economic benefit, not just for the airport itself, but for the larger community too. Based on the findings of the 2020 Colorado Aviation Economic Impact Study, Colorado's airports support approximately 8% of our state's economy. Colorado airports are linked to nearly 346,000 jobs that generate more than $16.2 billion in annual payroll, $27 billion in value added, and nearly $49 billion in overall business revenue. Now let's take a deeper look into the economic impacts of three Colorado airports, demonstrating how revenue streams can differ from one airport to another. The Colorado Springs Airport. The airport that seems to have it all. The airport has military and general aviation operations. We have the benefit of having our largest tenant, Peterson Air Force Base, right here on the airport. Commercial air service. We have five great carriers at Colorado Springs. And plenty of room for strategically planned, sustainable land development the 900-acre business park that we call Peak Innovation Park. These elements, working together, help create a perfect storm of economic development. Economic development for the larger community, for the airport. At one of the largest and busiest premier commercial service airports in Colorado. With the capability to support a wide range of airport business activity, the Colorado Springs Airport was responsible for generating $3.4 billion in business revenues related to on-airport activity and visitor spending. These business revenues directly translate into not only jobs, but payroll as well. It's like a full city of people working there and they're working around the clock so there's significant economic impact there as well. The Colorado Springs Airport can be linked to over 25,000 jobs and over $1.5 billion in annual payroll. And with the city's unique location, it attracts thousands of people from all reaches of the world, not only for business, but to experience Colorado's natural beauty. Tremendous scenery all around. We're close to the mountains. Colorado Springs, a more year-round airport, serving the business community as well as the tourism community in a city on the rise, Colorado Springs.
Some may call this region of our state the other Colorado. Our airport is 67 nautical miles northeast of DIA, and we're kind of central to northeastern Colorado, 70 miles to Nebraska north and 70 miles to Nebraska going east. This airport is located snug against the western half of the Great Plains region in the small town of Akron, Colorado. And the airport's name says it all, the Colorado Plains Regional Airport. The Colorado Plains Regional Airport doesn't necessarily attract droves of visitors in search of a Colorado Alpine adventure. We are not the resort town, we are not the playground, we are, we are a through port. This airport's well-maintained 7,000 foot long, 100 foot wide runway attracts aircraft owners from around the globe in search of a fuel stop as well as specialized aircraft maintenance and repair. We've established professional aviation companies here that, that do service a wide variety of different aircraft needs. Redline Aviation and Redline uh, Propeller are two companies that are very specialized in the propeller and propeller governor business. One of the six tenants conducting business at the airport is Hayes Aviation, which provides fuel services as well as specialized airframe and aircraft painting services. These on-airport businesses help create over a hundred local jobs that were linked to $5.4 million in annual payroll. It provides a lot of quality jobs that are drug tested, that are better paying for most small communities. The airport's tight network of tenants and businesses also help drive Akron's local economy, helping to produce over $15 million in overall annual business revenue and realistic expectation to put smaller businesses at your airport that have a focus, that are specialized, they can be a, an important economic driver or benefit to just about any small community that has a well taken care of airport. I think we have an airport that a lot of communities um, of 100 or 200 or 300,000 people would be envious of. It's tucked high in the rugged southwest Rocky Mountains of Colorado at an elevation just over 9,000 feet above sea level. Which makes us the highest uh, commercial service airport in North America. For many, the Telluride Regional Airport serves as the main gateway to this remote region of Colorado. Telluride is a world-class resort destination. The airport's commercial and private general aviation traffic fuels the local Telluride economy with visitors ready to enjoy all of its fine amenities. They're going to simply enjoy the alpine retreat that this is and enjoy the mountains and they're going to go skiing, they're going to go uh, enjoy the entertainment that we have to the restaurants and, and, and quite frankly the lodging. This type of air traffic requires fuel and specialized services, and this is exactly what the Telluride Regional Airport provides for the thousands who pass through the airport each year. So we sell the fuel, provide all the pilot services, and we have about, we do uh, just under 20,000 operations a year. Air traffic at the Telluride Airport is converted into business revenue for the airport and the surrounding Telluride community. So you have a total economic impact at Telluride Regional Airport of $51 million. And I think that's pretty impressive for, for the size, the small operation that we are, but how it really does impact and has really a benefit to one of being one of two airports that serve the Telluride uh, Resort. The airport generated nearly $52 million in business revenue related to on-airport activity and visitor spending. Business revenue equals jobs, 
a lot of transportation jobs. We have transportation companies, rental car companies. Um, we have concierge hotels. The airport is associated with supporting 414 jobs. These jobs produced over $18 million in annual payroll. Because of our location, our destination, and our region, and the Colorado mountains, and they want to come back. For more information about the 2020 Colorado Aviation Economic Impact Study, visit colorado-aeronautics.org.